Dan Nuxle standing over there, and he's in charge. When we yeah. first started, we were in Bushwick, and that was 18 years ago, and there was no one, there were no arts events in Bushwick or anything resembling that. I think the fiction this year has been fantastic. I mean, at all the festivals I've been to. Stop making films, you're destroying the industry. And don't, and, and hey, industry, don't buy these movies. Which to me, I'm like, that. What I think Hollywood should do, oh, yeah. it's true. I'm not trying to be whatever. I'm not trying to be Mr. Champion or whatever. I, I, I'm a loser. I don't have anything to really say. But here's what I mean. Like, instead of Captain America being released on 4,000 screens, you give the popular, I mean, release it on 3,500 screens. I had no fear making this film. I didn't think we were going to go to Sundance. That we're going to play at my grandma's basement. Of course. Like, I was doing this because I was like, I never thought I'd be in a position to direct a feature film. I never thought I'd be in a position. And it, like, I was in a position because digital cameras were released, because you could make a movie for nothing. I have no idea how we got in, but we did. Sucks, sucks. The farts. I think <laughs> the 10 minute fart scene. Yeah, is they love, as much as MoMA doesn't admit to it, they love the scatological films. I'm curious about your process shooting with one camera. Did you, did you do standard coverage, like do a shot of you and then reverse it, do a shot of the actor? Yeah, yeah. See, I, I don't think I'd ever want to make a film like that again because of time and it wears everybody out. Like I feel like it's an exhausting process. You well, know? What was cool is while we were light, while Chris was lighting, we were doing like rehearsals because yeah. on, on an indie film you, can't, you have no time to rehearse and we were doing the same thing. Your opening night or that weekend will probably be an after party that you could probably sneak into, right? Gillian. Gillian, sorry about that. Um, and then, uh, you know, and work the room and, 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 you know, make connections that way. I mean, Rooftop is a great place to, to meet people. And thank you, uh, Dan Knoxel, Lorner Tutel, Desiree Octavon, and Gillian Rose here for being on this. Thank you. <laughs>